is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look here. It is obviously a very bright look. I just really wanted to use this ColourPop eyeshadow. I've been dying to use it since I got it. Um, it is the pressed pigment shade in Too Shy. And it is obviously very, very blue. So I hope you guys enjoy. I do kind of wish I paired it with a bit more of a pinky nude lip. But that is okay. I still think this nude looks absolutely fine just if you do want to recreate it maybe try more of a like a pale baby pink nude I think would look so nice with this look but apart from that I really hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will get started on this makeup tutorial so I'm just starting out with putting some lip balm on so my lips are nice and hydrated and then I'm going in with some primer. I'm taking my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade. You guys know I always use this one and this just creates a nice base for my foundation. The foundation I'm using is NARS Sheer Glow. I'm using the palest shade I have which is Mont Blanc um, because I have no fake tan on in this video so I needed a foundation to match my pale skin, I'm just applying this using my Beauty Blender. Moving in to do the eyes, I'm just priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot, so just using my finger to apply that to the lid, and then I'm taking Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow, and I'm using this on a super fluffy blending brush and just buffing this out into the crease. This is just going to act as a transition shade, so it doesn't have to be neat. Then I'm taking the shade Frappe again from Makeup Geek and I'm using this on a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just focusing this colour right into the crease and bringing it into the inner corner and this is just going to add a little bit of a warm brown to the look just because I didn't want it all to be super cool toned. And then I'm taking the shade Motown which is a matte beautiful deep eggplanty purple. Whoa, that was a long description. <laughs> I'm using a 217 brush from MAC just to buff this into the outer corner and bring it through the crease. So I'm really focusing it on the outer corner and then taking the leftover product into the crease. And then I'm just going back in with my Sigma E40 and blending everything out. Then I wanted to add a little bit of black, so I just took a box. This is just a box like from an empty product. And I'm using another Sigma brush just to pack this onto the outer corner and blend it in. And then I'm just going back in with the Sigma E40 brush just to blend everything out again. Now for the fun part, I'm taking this absolutely beautiful pressed pigment from Colourpop. It's called Too Shy and I'm just using my finger to pack this onto the lid. And I'm packing a lot of this on because I wanted this colour to stand out more than anything else. And then again, I'm just going back in with my E40 brush just to blend those edges. And I'm just blending quite softly so that I don't blend away my blue pigment. And then again, I'm going in with the 217 and just repeating the same steps to make sure that the purple shade was blended into the blue. Then I'm taking a Rimmel eyeliner. This is just a black coal and I'm tight lining my eyes with this. And then I'm taking the eyeliner onto a little flat smudge brush and I'm just lining my lash line quite messily just so that the falsies have something um, to sort of blend them into. Then I just gave my lashes a curl and I'm applying a coat of Lash Sensational from Maybelline. And the falsies I'm going to use today are the Vegas Ney Grand Glamour Lashes. These are some of my favourites. So just popping those onto the eyes. To conceal my under eye circles, I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just applying this right underneath the eyes and in sort of a triangular shape. And then I'm just using my Damp Beauty Blender again just to blend this into the skin. And for the rest of the face, I took the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer, whoa, um, in the shade Light. And I'm just popping this down the center of my face to conceal and not really to highlight. It's pretty much blending into my skin tone, but hey, we gave it a little bit of extra coverage. And then to set everything, I'm just going in to the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit and taking Light Cocoa because it's a super pale shade and I just love the way this looks. So I'm setting down all of the concealed areas. 
And then to contour my face, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Sculpt Kit and I am going to just carve out my cheekbones a little bit and just use it to bronze up my face and add a little bit of colour. So I'm applying it underneath the cheekbones, around the temples and the hairline and then down the neck. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in the shade Sin, which is so beautiful. I am obsessed with this highlighter. It's probably my new favourite. I'm just highlighting my cheekbones and my cupid's bow, my nose, my chin, and above the arches of my eyebrows. And then to add some colour to the cheeks, I'm taking the Balm Blush in Down Boy, and I'm just applying this using a Wet n Wild blush brush. Moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking Frappe again on the Sigma E40 brush and I'm just buffing this underneath the lower lash line just to give it a bit more of a smoky effect. And then I'm going to go in with Motown again on the 217 brush and just add this to the lower lash line as well. I'm keeping this mainly in the outer third of the lower lash line. And then taking the pressed pigment from Colourpop once again and just keeping this really close to that lash line. I just wanted to add a bit of the blue to the underneath of the eye as well and then just blending all of those shades together. Then I'm taking this beautiful blue eyeliner from Models Prefer and I'm just lining my waterline with this. I feel like this just adds to the whole look and ties the blue in together. And then just giving my lower lashes a coat of mascara. To highlight the inner corners, I took the MAC pigment in the shade Vanilla, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this pigment and it just added a nice pop of shimmer to those inner corners. Moving on to the lips, I lined my entire lips with this lip liner from the makeup store. It's in the shade Nude Beauty, so I outlined them first and then filled them in. And I wish I had gone for a different colour because it was a bit too peachy for my liking, but I still like how it turned out. And then I filled my lips in and went over with MAC Angel Lipstick and then I just used my finger to blend it out before adding some gloss. This is the Gerard Cosmetic, Cosmetics um, Shimmer of Hope Lip Gloss and that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.